These are facts about ear piercing in babies. Still a baby, how come you have your ears pierced? Aren't you sorry? That question often arises when responding to ear piercing in babies. Even though it's considered a common thing, there's nothing wrong with paying attention to a few things before getting your baby's ears pierced. Many parents get their baby girl's ears pierced a few days after she is born. Ear piercing for newborns may be done for cultural reasons, as a differentiator between boys and girls, or to beautify your little one. Benefits of ear piercing as a baby Some people may not have the heart to pierce their babies, especially newborns. However, there are also benefits to having your baby's ears pierced through a medical lens. Ears pierced at an early age are sure to receive more attention or care. Parents will certainly try to make sure their baby's ear is not infected. In addition, the younger the child, the less likely it is for scar tissue or keloids to appear on the pierced earlobe. According to an article from the Journal of Pediatrics, keloids, or thickened scars, are more common in children whose ears are pierced when they are over 11 years old. So if you or your partner's family has a history of keloids, experts recommend not getting piercings, or getting your child pierced as a baby. Keloids can be difficult to treat, often requiring injections and surgery to remove them. Things to look for If you want to do ear piercing on your newborn baby, it is advisable to pay attention to the following things. Baby age There are different opinions about piercing baby ears. Unlike in Asia and Latin America, baby piercing is not a culture and custom in America. For this reason, the American Academy of Pediatrics AP, recommends getting ear piercings done when your child is old enough to take care of their own piercings. Other opinions suggest that ear piercing is done as a baby, but you need to wait until it reaches 3 to 4 months of age. Regardless of the age of the child, pierced ears have risks. However, the risk can be minimized by careful ear piercing and good wound care and cleaning. Done by professionals. Ear piercing in babies should not be done by just anyone. This action is recommended to be carried out by a doctor. The doctor will use a sterile piercing tool made of hypoallergenic surgical steel. Piercing needle. To do ear piercing, it is recommended to use piercing needles made of gold, silver, platinum, titanium or stainless steel. These ingredients can minimize the risk of infection, rashes, and allergies. Avoid metals that contain nickel and cobalt, because metals with a mixture of these two materials often cause allergies. Earring shape Choose earrings that are round, small, flat, and not sharp. The earring cover must also cover the entire back of the earring. In addition, it is not recommended to put dangling earrings on babies, because babies can pull the earrings off and injure themselves, or put them in their mouths and choke. Hoops or hoop earrings that are too large can also get caught in an adult's clothing, jewelry, and hair, or can be pulled on by another child. Pain even though it is done in just seconds, the baby will definitely feel pain if the ear piercing is done without anesthesia, anesthesia. Therefore, you can ask the doctor whether the baby's ear skin can be given anesthesia before the piercing is done. Tetanus vaccination. It's best to wait until your little one receives the tetanus vaccine, DPT, before piercing their ears. Tetanus infection is rare and the risk of getting tetanus from an ear piercing is small. However, there is nothing wrong with preventing tetanus infection through vaccination. Caring for your baby's pierced ears. 
After your baby's ears are pierced, don't remove the earrings for 6 weeks or until the wound is dry. Apply alcohol or a doctor-recommended cleaning solution around the earlobe twice a day, and rotate the earring at least once a day. After every child takes a bath, dry the area around the piercing so it's not damp. After 6 weeks, the piercing will usually dry out and you can replace your child's earring so they don't close the hole. If after the ear piercing there are symptoms of infection, allergies, bleeding, festering and inflamed ears, or if the ear is torn because the earring has fallen off, consult a doctor immediately or take it to the nearest hospital. Ear piercing in babies is not prohibited, but don't forget to pay attention to safety and cleanliness. In addition, the baby's ear piercing should be done by a doctor or midwife to minimize the risk of infection or other complications.